And of course, this is what happens when someone drowns way at sea. He puts it in a little urn and there's no way I can get here fast enough. He just basically pops up and then he's gone. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Tolbert family. Here we're trying to renovate this house and get it ready for this growing family. We actually have two children and one infant now, so three kids all together. And in this challenge, we actually do daily quests. And the first quest is going to be to hack a system successfully. So Brody has programming level four and he could probably do this pretty easily but he doesn't like programming, so maybe we'll get Katarina to practice. Okay, we can actually attempt to hack at only level two programming skill. So we'll see how that goes. And Katarina was able to do it, so we've completed the quest for today. So bills are 3,500 simoleons. Yeah, we need to make some money. Well, we're going to go ahead and open up the shop and see if we can get some sales on the selling table. Well, this is pretty profitable. It seems like everyone is buying almost immediately. I forget what perks I have. Maybe I have the perk where everyone's ready to buy right away. People are not buying my skeletons though, and the skeletons are what are, are worth a whole lot. It looks like some people are buying some stuff inside finally. I only made 200 simoleons, even though I made like 10 sales. And these are gonna be much more profitable. Oh, I know what it is. I think I set my store price really low. That's what it is. Okay, we need to close the store. I'm not selling anything else. I think I set the prices low because those, yeah, they're, they're, everything's on clearance. It's only a 5% markup. And the reason for that is because all this stuff is used. I shouldn't be able to sell it for a huge profit. And these skeletons are ridiculously expensive. So having a markup on them would just be overkill. So we're going to visit the shops and this is Not Home Depot by Lexinora. So these shops are on the gallery and people have populated them with items to buy and we can come here and pick out anything that we want, but we cannot use build buy. So the only thing that we can get cheap is the things at the shop. If we buy it through Simazon, we have to pay an exorbitant amount of money and we may or may not get our item. So there's some pretty nice items in here, although I don't see anything that's a pressing need. Uh, the only thing that I would really like to get is maybe this flower arranging table so that we can have one at the business and one at home. And this is Little Shop by JLo2310. Looks like we have a TARDIS over here. I'm not sure if that really does anything other than decoration. Uh, this is a table. It may or may not be a seance table. I'm sometimes fooled by that. And I don't think that we need one though, because I think we actually have a seance table. So nothing here really speaks to me yet. Although that is a nice wood floor, I am not ready to do flooring yet. And the last shop is a Little Plant Shop by Sun Shizzle. This has a nice bed, but we already have that bed. Some curtains, lots of plants and nothing that we really need. We might need some more planters. Planters are always nice. Oh, but those are so expensive and we can actually make those with the woodworking table. So yeah, we really don't need the planters either. So it's the end of Monday and we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 77% which is another 3,244 simoleons for a total of 7,457 simoleons. So the next quest is to befriend the Grim Reaper. Um, unfortunately for this quest, someone has to die. So I'm not sure 
if we can do this today, but we have to basically try to get a sim killed. And the only way that I think that we are going to be able to do this is since it, since we're in Solani, we can throw a party and hopefully it will be hot. And if it's too hot and everyone's in their party wear, they might die of heat exhaustion. So maybe we can try that. I don't know. Okay, we've ordered this bed from Simazon and our order should come in now. And we have Simazon says your package was lost in transit. Full refund. Great. Well, I guess we'll just leave it there because we're ordering it again. So today is Tuesday and we should receive it sometime Thursday. The only thing is it's not hot here and I don't get it. It's sunny and it's Solani and it's summer. Why is it not hot? All right, it's the afternoon and it's still warm. So let's go check out the shops. All right, this is the Jaded Little Shop by Two Geeks in a Pod. And oh, I like these things because they water the plants. But let's see what else do they have. Oh, there's a game table. I think we might have a chess table already. But we do not have a game table. The rest of the shop is nice and green, but I don't really need any decorations right now. And Brody doesn't like the rug. I can't remember if that chess table was the one that was knocked over. I think maybe we don't have it because it was knocked over. Maybe I'll just go ahead and buy this one, even though it's 562 simoleons. And this is Bed Bath & Beyond by Darling Nikki. And it's a really cute shop, but it has a lot of white items and some toddler potties, but we don't need any of this. We already have this bed and we already have this chair although in different swatches and the rest of it is just not what i'm looking for right now all right this is the little home shop by misty lee one so we have a lot of cat stuff which might be nice maybe we'll get another cat tree i'm not sure that we need another litter box especially one like that a scratching post might be nice and then this bed is so cute because it's a rainbow now i really do want this feeder but unfortunately it's not set for sale because they had it where the bowl was in the feeder and it's not set for sale so we'll just have to buy that item when we come back uh we can buy the box though i like these boxes for storing things because they have a separate inventory slot so that's really nice okay we're going to open the store for business and i have invited someone over here even though for some reason i don't know her okay if you ask a sim to get dressed according to what the weather is the opposite of sometimes you can get them to overheat or to freeze so we're unfortunately going to try to do that here oh and he has a fear of death he won't even be able to talk to the grim reaper okay let's try and figure out if there's an elder somewhere all right for some reason she wasn't changing and i don't know maybe they fixed it so that doesn't happen anymore uh i just kind of used mc command center to get her to change and she changes right back into her hot weather ah they fixed it you can no longer manipulate sims like that I guess the only other option I have is to try to get her to go swimming and drain her energy. But unfortunately, that doesn't make it so that she is close to drowning. So I'm not sure I can keep her in the water long enough. We might have to say that this one is a lost cause. Well, it seems like the only way to reliably meet the Grim Reaper is probably to make some puffer fish. And I discovered that too late. So even trying to deplete a Sim's needs and have them stay in the water long enough to drown is not really working. 
I, and I'm not allowing myself to use build mode to cheat and lock them in a room. So yeah, we failed this quest. And so we're going to lose 84%. Wow. And that leaves us with 1,280 simoleons. Okay, about time. She's actually drowning now, even though it's 1 a.m. Maybe we'll meet the Grim Reaper. I don't know. And of course, this is what happens when someone drowns way at sea. He puts it in a little urn and there's no way I can get here fast enough. He just basically pops up and then he's gone. Well, that serves me right. Okay, at least for the next quest, we just have to go to the magic realm and buy something from the vendors. That'll be easy. Time to go to the magic realm. And of course, they do not have a death flower. That would be too perfect. They have a dragon fruit, but I already have one. I don't need that. Well, there's a Tome of Plentiful Needs, which would be nice if I was a caster. But really, there's nothing here that is even remotely useful to me. So I guess I'll just get something for decoration. What about a magic mop? Oh, look, it's raining at the little shop by I'm Miro Bibba. Yeah, I probably didn't say that right, but you can look in the description if you'd like to see it. Okay, we can't buy the chicken coop. We'll have to get that from Build Buy if we really want it. Looks like there's some pretty standard stuff here besides that. And probably nothing else that I would want. And this is the little shop or little yellow shop by Sharn81. And as you can guess, it has a lot of yellow and some kind of weird looking ceremony over here. Okay. Oh, there is a cat. Thing. Okay, so there's a cat litter box that has the laser eyes. That's a good investment. And then this is also something you can store things in. And same with the Ikea chest or Icea chest. So I'll buy those three things. And we have Hooray Karen's Little Shop by Hooray Karen. And I know I've seen this shop before. Um, not sure if it was this series, but it probably was and might have been twice in this series so we've already purchased everything that we would like from the shop which is probably nothing because i don't really need any of this stuff and there's really not that much here either this person probably actually obeyed the rules that said turn off move objects in only place which you can get here by mo having move objects off uh, yeah, I know I didn't follow that rule. This mirror is really nice. However, it is kind of pricey and I'm not to the decorating stage yet. What I really need is something for my infant. And it figures that it would be raining. All right, so tonight we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 87%, which gives us 10,567 simoleons. Now, the next quest is to cross stitch a pattern and sell it on Plopsy. That's going to be tough. It's a three day quest because Plopsy doesn't always allow you to sell something. So we better get started right away. Oh, Amos is petting Josie. And he has a stinky diaper. So actually our Simazon package was supposed to come today and we spin the wheel and we get the shipment was delayed. Your package will arrive in two days. Okay, so it will be here on Saturday. Chubbs is bursting with anticipation to meet his new bundle of joy. All right, I have this bug in my game that was in my other game and basically male cats are getting pregnant and I don't know what causes it. I had to set it in MC Command Center that the cat was spayed or neutered if it was a male because I don't want kittens for males. That is a bug. 
no, I am not getting three kittens out of this. Sorry. Um, no, Chubbs is a male. Chubbs is not pregnant. Yeah, and I'm on long lifespan. So these cats are going to be around pretty much forever. So we want to make sure that we don't have unnecessary kittens. So we're just heading to the shops for the night. And this is Buy Me Little Rosa by Leah Bania. Um, sorry, there's a lot of E's and A's in that. Anyway, the uh, person's name will be in the description. And I think I'm going to buy this little cat toy box. And this is Creative Mom and Kid by Barbie Goes. But I don't see any kid stuff here. It's plants. And maybe a couple of guitars. And this is the little shop by Carnilla. And we have some really expensive statues. Oh, I like the wallpaper. Although I'm not in the market for a wallpaper yet. So this is the little shop by Minix11. And they have some interesting things in here. Some nice wallpaper. Oh, a nice lamp and a nice bed and dresser. But I really don't see anything that we absolutely have to have. And this is the little shop by Jen Does Something. And it looks like they're getting married. Flamingos. All right, we have a telescope, which is kind of interesting. I don't think we have one of those. Oh, the monster light. Yes, let's buy the monster light. I'm going to go ahead and get the telescope because it's a skill item that we don't have, even though it's really expensive. This is My Little Shop of Horror by Breezy1987. So, yeah, we're really not trying to make it look run down. We're trying to fix it up. But this might be nice for a Halloween-themed build. I don't think I really need anything from here. Oh boy, Gregor08 would like to purchase large cross-stitch hoop on Plopsy for 547 simoleons. Yeah, if you sell that the regular way, you only get 200 simoleons. So it really pays to sell cross-stitching and knitting on Plopsy rather than from your inventory. Okay, it's Saturday, so we finally get our crib. Well, it's time to spin the winning wheel, and we got 41%. And that's another 6,790 simoleons. For a total of 23,351 simoleons. Now it's the end of the week, so this is Charity. Thanks for watching.